goodness, and love. Roseanne Archibald made history in 2021 when she won the top job at the Assembly of First Nations, the first woman to be the national chief, elected with a mandate to shake things up. Voices are being heard that were never heard before. But she makes history as she leaves that top job, the first national chief, man or woman, to be removed before the end of her three-year term. I support the national chief when she ran for uh, election, but... It was just time to move on. Assimilation and genocide. The Assembly of First Nations is the country's largest Indigenous advocacy group. Its national chief is selected by majority vote of the country's 634 First Nations chiefs. On Wednesday, just 231 of those chiefs had a day-long Zoom call, and then 163 of them, or 71 percent, voted in favor of removing her. Archibald's defenders believe her gender played a role, that the chiefs would never have voted a man out of the job, but Archibald could not overcome the findings of a third-party investigator that found she abused her staff and violated the Assembly's code of conduct. We have to keep everybody accountable regardless what part of the staff of the AFN you are in. If you're in the top part or if you're administrative, you know, we're all equal in, in that, that office. There were just too much damages right now. And there, we just need some healing and time for this. Healing now needed after one of the most divisive episodes in the organization's history. Jeff. Thanks, David. David Aiken in Ottawa. And for more on the fallout from this impeachment, let's go straight to our Melissa Ridgen in Winnipeg. Hi, Melissa. So what's been the reaction from Grassroots members? And, and what do you think this means for the future of the AFN? Well, Jeff, reaction has been largely head shaking and eye rolls. You know, the first the Assembly of First Nations deals with the government of Canada as a lobbyist for First Nations issues. The criticism, criticism has always been that it doesn't represent what people want or what they expect. They have no say in what happens at the AFN. It's only chiefs that have a seat at that table. So Archibald campaigned on change. She campaigned on accountability, including on things like spending and putting the brakes on perceived entitlements in the organization. Uh, how she went about it, how she treated some folks, it looks like that, that was problematic and perhaps worthy of uh, some sanctions or some discipline of some sort. But some are saying that she was removed before she could accomplish what it was she was elected to do. The questions that she asked are crucial and we will now never have the answers for because what will happen now is the regional chiefs will now appoint someone who will be favorable to their interests. And that's what will happen next. An interim national chief will be selected until another election can be held at the end of this year. All right, Melissa Ridgen in Winnipeg, thanks.